Hello everybody, uh, my name is Jim Shore. Welcome back to my studio here. Uh, I thought we'd take a little bit of time and go over a, uh, a collection of things that I've put together that uh, are specifically for the Thanksgiving holiday. It's, uh, it's that harvest, autumn, fall season, and it's just around the corner. Uh, it'll be here before we know it. And it's, we always think of Thanksgiving sort of as the kind of gateway to Christmas. So uh, it's a, around our house, it's a, it's a time where uh, we come together as the entire family, and that includes uh, my six children and their families, and that includes the 12 grandchildren, um, some that uh, are practically brand new, that uh, just weeks old, so the, the Shore clan is expanding like that, and, and Thanksgiving is one of those times when we when it really comes home as to how uh, blessed we are to, to not only uh, have the family that we have, uh, but to have the family here in, the, in our great country. You know, Thanksgiving is one of those holidays that's exclusive to uh, the United States. It uh, sort of speaks to a time when and very early on in the colonial days when we were forming who we are and, and what we're about. And this, uh, I think this holiday more than, than many have an extra special meaning because it's an opportunity for us to sort of step back and say, hey, you know, we do have a lot to be thankful for. No matter, no matter what's happening, you know, we live in the land of opportunity and uh, uh, nothing says it better than, uh, than the time of Thanksgiving. We sit around the table uh, on that day and, and uh, tell stories and, and uh, we sing songs and we have our Thanksgiving prayer and we eat uh, a lot of fine food and it's a great day and it's a great day. We never lose sight though of the, uh, the meaning of the day and that is uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for the many ways we've been blessed. So here we have, I'll go over a few of these things. Uh, we've got, some of them are, are fairly new, so you're getting sort of a sneak preview of some of the, the new stuff. We've got these many pieces that, I've started doing more of these pieces in this kind of dimension. Uh, so they're a little bit smaller than some of my figural pieces, but they're, they're easy to decorate with, and they're, um, uh, they're, they don't have the, the space or the investment in them that you do in the bigger pieces, so there's something that appeals to a lot of people. And I like doing things in that scale anyway, and so we have the various pieces you can see here. This is a, a sort of a little village scene within the, uh, the maple leaf, and then in front here are the, this mini collection, which includes the, the Indians and the turkey and some of the uh, very decorated and very colorful uh, pumpkins that are those things are nice to decorate around if you have some of the other pieces that are bigger center pieces or whatever you have. You, a few of those along with your, you know, your apples and your leaves and, and that sort of thing makes a very nice, a nice center piece, something nice to, to decorate with. And of course we've got the pilgrims there, sort of main characters in the story. We've got the miniature uh, cornucopia and uh, <clears throat> then on, on over to this, uh, this plaque which celebrates the time of year by the sentiment of, you know, bounty, which means so many different things. Uh, we've got the, the new turkey, and we've got um, this, this uh, cornucopia here. Now, I've done cornucopias in a lot of different ways, and I, I like the subject for one thing. It's one of those things that <clears throat> it's an entertaining uh, subject to do, but it's, uh, it's got a lot of symbolism in it, and... Uh, so I like it, and but the, but it it carries with it a certain uh, oh challenge that some of these pieces uh, have because when I do well, whether I'm doing nativities or whether I'm doing baskets or whether I'm doing angels, you can't change the uh, the subject matter. And cornucopia is the same way. It's this horn of plenty, and then uh, a collection of things that are bountiful. Generally speaking, it's usually um, oh fruit and vegetables and that kind of stuff, the things that you would, food, you know, food items that you would uh, associate with something bountiful. In this case, though, I, I have the challenge of making everyone a little bit different, make them unique, make them original, and make them interesting without doing 
sort of a repetition of the same thing over and over. And in this, in this case, I have combined part of the, the Thanksgiving story with the, the cornucopia itself. And so as you can see, I've got the uh, little rendition model of the Mayflower complete with uh, some of the elements that we associate with Thanksgiving. We've got the turkey, we've got the pumpkin, we've got the, the pilgrims themselves, and we've got here an Indian, which uh, it's in a, a pose of being vigilant and being protective, and that's kind of part of the story that happened because if it weren't for the, the um, uh, influence and the help and assistance of the, uh, these, these Native American folks that they, they met early on at those, uh, those colonies, they would have had a very tough time, possibly not made it at all. So, and then that's in conjunction with, uh, of course, the rest of this, uh, the fruit and vegetables spilling out. And it's done, as usual, with a lot of, of color. Some of it unexpected. You've got this uh, turquoise and, and purple combination here, which is kind of a, an exciting uh, combination color-wise. Um, so, that, uh, so that's my version of that. We've got the turkey back here. Now, this is not a brand new piece. This piece has been around a while, but still I feel inclined to, to show it or show this type of subject uh, when we have the, um, uh, the, when we're doing things for the, the, uh, the Thanksgiving season. Uh, in this case, it's, it's the full-blown uh, turkey. And turkeys actually are some of, the, some of our prettiest birds. You don't think of them as being that, but they're, the, the iridescence in their leaves are absolutely beautiful if you see a real turkey. In fact, Ben Franklin uh, petitioned to make uh, the turkey our national bird before the bald eagle was selected. So early on, it was, it was uh, recognized as a, as a beautiful and noble bird. And, so, and then, of course, it, on the front it says, give thanks. Now, this piece here, this is, uh, once again, an, again, another of my two-sided pieces, uh, something that I started early on. Whenever there was a, uh, a story that had maybe contrasting themes or contrasting characters, good, bad, uh, that sort of thing, um, I would do one version on one side and then the other version on the other side so that in rotation it sort of tells the whole story. And in this case here, I've simply done the, uh, versions of the main characters of the Thanksgiving story, which in this case are the high, and decorated obviously in my style, uh, the the pilgrim couple, man and wife, and he's got his Bible, and she's got uh, she's got a uh, a pie there, and they're hand they're arm in arm, and then if you rotate it around, you've got the similar couple. Only this is the uh, the Indians, the Native Americans that they ran into. And uh, once again, it's these are very colorful. I love these colors, by the way. This I've started using a little bit more of the turquoise because in conjunction with purples or oranges and that kind of thing, it makes a, it makes a wonderful counterpoint. Uh, and in this case, once again, they're, they're arm in arm. And uh, he's got a, an expression of bounty, which is a basket of corn, and she's got, uh, she's got the fish. And the fish back in those days was an important part of their diet. So, um, and then the bottom of it is decorated with uh, uh, this collection of uh, uh, things that you think about when you think about harvest, which is pumpkins and apples and that sort of stuff. So that, uh, that's, uh, that goes together to make what I think for the season is one of my more interesting pieces. And then uh, uh, we have here this plaque, which once again, um, is set against the backdrop of the maple leaf, which is uh, when you think of fall, um, the brilliant colors of the maple is one of the things you, you often think about. And because, um, you know, we all enjoy the, the changing of the colors during that season, and that sort of goes hand in hand with, with the uh, Thanksgiving season. That's why so much of this is in the, the oranges and the, uh, these earthy colors, because that's the kind of colors that I personally associate with uh, with fall, and then of course it's got the the uh, autumn <coughs> uh, harvest farm scene, and it's a that's a uh, that's a plaque, and it's also made where it can where it can stand up. It's got a uh, a part of it that comes out like that, 
sort of an easel kind of thing. So it'll sit up or it will hang on the wall as a wall decoration. And uh, then, lastly here, we have this uh, water, uh, water ball, water globe, and it's in the shape of a, an old-fashioned canning jar. And uh, seen inside is the pilgrims and the, uh, the, thanks, the typical Thanksgiving scene. And uh, then if you shake it up, it's got uh, stars and glitter and, and that sort of thing that makes a sort of an interesting and, and beautiful piece. So uh, I was very, I've been very fascinated with uh, water balls ever since I was a, a, little, a little kid. I, I saw one one time on a, one of my favorite movies and I was captivated by it. And I, so ever since I have periodically uh, introduced uh, water balls in different uh, shapes, different designs, sort of a slightly different twist on it. And in this case, this is, I think, a pretty good example of what I'm talking about. From the decoration on the top, people, the people, old folks particularly, will recognize this style of canning jar clear down to the decorative base. So that's the, uh, <clears throat> a portion of my Thanksgiving collection. I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. Uh, once again, thanks for coming. and. Uh, have a wonderful Thanksgiving uh, season and celebration with, uh, with your family as we do. And uh, I'll remember all of you in my prayers on Thanksgiving Day. So thank you for being here with me.